Now at 11, a freeway takedown, a deputy shoots and kills a driver on the run, and he does it from a sheriff's helicopter chasing him from above. NBC 4 Jane Yamamoto is live in San Bernardino, where the 215 freeway remains shut down. Jane? Chuck and Colleen, that's right. A portion of the 215 freeway still closed tonight. It's about a five mile stretch. Take a look behind me. This is the reason why. Two vehicles still here on the northbound side, now part of an investigation into an officer involved shooting after a sheriff's deputy opened fire from a helicopter. A shattered windshield on the suspect's tan Chevy Tahoe. A closer look shows what appears to be bullet holes. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's investigation team spent the night trying to determine whether the suspect was shot inside the SUV or after he got out and collapsed on the freeway. We obtained this part of the police dispatch tape moments after the shooting. He got on the uh, from DeVore heading southbound in northbound lane. And uh, that's when we deployed uh, lethal force. A deputy opened fire on the driver midair from inside a sheriff's helicopter, much like this one. The dramatic ending to a high speed chase that started just before 1 o'clock this afternoon. The suspect was wanted in connection with a Fontana home invasion robbery. Deputies trying to stop the driver going up to 100 miles per hour, driving the wrong way on the 215 freeway. Investigators say although it's rare, San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies are trained to shoot from a helicopter if there's a threat to public safety. The suspect collapsed on the side of the freeway where he died. Deputies say the suspect jumped out of the moving SUV, crashing head-on into a blue Dodge Durango filled with a family of three. All were transported to Loma Linda University Medical Center. The wife suffered the most serious injuries, including a rib fracture. Her family tells NBC4 News she had surgery. It went well. Her husband and son suffered only minor injuries. And as far as the 215 freeway, an investigator tells me they could be out here for several hours. The hope is to have it reopened sometime tomorrow morning. Live in San Bernardino, Jane Yamamoto, NBC4 News.